What's up everybody? Good morning. You know, Joel Hansen here. You guys know who it is. So anyway, um, I am in New Hampshire. I'm in New Hampshire. This is uh, still in New Hampshire. We are just getting up for the morning and uh, like we're gonna have a bit of a day here. Do some sightseeing. This is kind of out the window. Um, I don't know if we're technically like downtown or where we are. But anyway, long story short, later on, I'm going to be doing a burger challenge at a place called Billy's. So we're going to be doing Billy's Burger Challenge. So the challenge is to eat five of their burgers, um, their Billy Burgers, which have a Canadian bacon. Guys, I'm Canadian. There's no such thing as quote unquote Canadian bacon. It's just ham. So basically it's burgers with ham. And then there's a barbecue sauce. I believe it's a mozzarella cheese. Um, so you eat five of those. Then you have five pickle spears. And you have a big basket of fries. I'm gonna to talk to the lady, she figures probably about two pounds. You have 30 minutes to complete the challenge. If you do, you get the meal for free and you get a t-shirt. And if not, you are facing, a, the lady said somewhere between 55 and $64. So, I don't know, 60-ish bucks. Um, fun fact about New Hampshire, if you're not familiar, well, there's a lot of wilderness, that's for sure. And there is no sales tax. So when you see something on the shelf that says $1, it is $1. That's what I know New Hampshire for, you know what I'm saying? It's been a long time since I've been in New Hampshire, um, but we just got our first food challenge win yesterday in New Hampshire at a place called KC's Rib Shack, very famous place. I'll link that down below if you'd like to watch that. Um, but yeah, so that was really cool. Um, this will be, I believe, food challenge win 401 we are going for today. So we're getting the numbers up there. But yeah, guys, um, like I said, it's been uh, over four years or about four years since I was back in New Hampshire. Good to be back. New Hampshire, also, you don't have to wear um, helmets on motorcycles. And at least last time I was here, you did not even have to wear a seatbelt if you're over the age of 18. Their state like slogan is live free or die. They really do live by it. So we'll go find out. I still recommend wearing seatbelts. And now let's go eat some food. So because I have the time, I'll walk you through some of this morning routine. Um, so I always wake up, I drink lots of water. Um, I actually like to drink warm water so in this case I'm coming to this water dispenser and I'm doing like you know a third to a half cold and a you know half to two thirds hot I just like it I am a person that runs cold like some people run really hot or run really cold man I look puffy today I'll tell you that much that's what food challenges does to everybody Ooh, it'll it'll like I'm gonna go to the gym and I'll, I'll get rid of some huh but yeah, you can see that my face, that is full show. Um, but yeah, so that's good. Water, I'm gonna have some uh, some decaf here as well. I had a coffee machine, all about that decaf life. I uh, do enjoy a sweetener in my decaf, that's all I do. They also have a continental breakfast going on. Not gonna lie, it smells good. I smell bacon or ham or something along those lines. I'm not eating though, I don't eat outside of food challenges, so you know, I'm gonna stick with this liquid stuff. Get everything moving. It's, everything's sitting real heavy in my gut. We had a lot of uh, a lot of meat yesterday. So, also, I gotta say the most impressive uh, hotel gym I've ever seen in my life. This hotel is actually connected to a gym, so you can just use it if you are at the hotel. Um, but check this out, guys. We have like, you know, not only substantial amount of treadmills and stuff, but look at the size of this place. I mean, it actually is like, you know, pretty much a full fitness center. So, I'm impressed. I'm impressed. We got, a, we got a gym full of Spaniards here. They're taking over. <laughs> hey everyone, real quick, I want to thank sponsor today's video being Surfshark VPN. So if you're not familiar, I've been using Surfshark VPN for years now. It is my preferred virtual private network. And what is a virtual private network? Well, essentially it's gonna help keep your data safe on the internet. I have so many passwords, credit card numbers, like so many things stored that online and on our computers nowadays. And especially if you're gonna use any public networks, you need to protect yourself. So that's why I use Surfshark and where it comes in. So Surfshark is actually in limited devices. So I have it on my phone, I have it on my computer. I'll use it to shop internationally. So if I'm in Canada and I want to use an American website, I can just simply change my location and voila, I am, can now shop at American stores. If you live somewhere where you can't access media like Disney Plus, you can change your location, then you'll be able to. Surfshark also comes with a money back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Cybersecurity is super important right now, so protect your data. And they got an even crazier deal right now for December. So go to surfshark.deals forward slash Joel H and you can get 85, just 85% off and three months 
freeze. So like I said, act now, protect yourself, protect your security like I am at this airport and go to surfshark.deals forward slash Joel H. Outer here with the challenge. Uh, it's definitely a lot of food guys. Like we said, five burgers, pickles, beers, and then we have about two pounds of french fries. A lot, a lot of fries. Look very crispy. So this is going to be interesting, but uh, yeah, 30 minutes, wish us luck. I'm definitely going to eat it very full. So we can start here just momentarily. So 30 minutes, how about we get started? We'll say at the count of five, four, three, two, one. Let us eat. Good luck, man. Thank you. Yeah, Lots of barbecue sauce. Good burger, though. Yeah, yeah. I'm ready to take it. You're gonna have to come with me. Yeah, you gotta come with me. You gotta show your ID for the ticket. What? You wanna go now, bye? Hey everyone, welcome to the Today we are here in New Hampshire. Yes, New Hampshire, the big green mountainous state of wilderness and no sales tax and freedom. Their quote is literally live free or die. So here we are taking on the Billy's Burger Challenge at, well, Billy's. Um, here we have the five burgers, as we said, with all the pickles, big basket fries, etc., etc. So definitely a pretty good sized challenge. Um, I would say so each of the burgers they did have a half pound uh, patty on them plus the cheese plus the ham um, everything on there the burgers were cooked uh, correctly I asked for them like a kind of medium rare medium and they were cooked perfectly um, I understand some people don't like any pink in your burger and that is totally fair I grew up not having any pink and a burger always being well 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 done however that being said let me know how you like your burger cooked down below I definitely do when it is a good quality meat and it's done right kind of like a medium rare medium burger is really delicious super juicy super tender um, there are some risks associated with you know consuming undercooked meats but that being said let me know how you like your burger cooked down below so it was an overall very good tasting burger. I mean, it was ham on a burger. How can you go wrong? The uh, cheese, it was kind of like a, I want to say like a provolone or a, like it was some kind of a Swiss, maybe it was Swiss. It was a really kind of stronger, unique tasting cheese, but it went quite well with the ham. Kind of reminded me of something like, I don't know, almost you might get on a charcuterie in a way. And then they had the barbecue sauce on it. Now this was their like signature barbecue sauce. Um, it was pretty zesty um, and kind like kind of a, like tangy. I guess maybe tangy is a good word for, word for it. Um, not as sweet as like a sweet baby rays. Not, definitely not as vinegary or tangy as like a vinegar sauce, but kind of somewhere in between. I don't know what that is. Just over two and a half minutes in. Two down, a few more to go. Definitely a lot of food. Well, they're pretty good, so no complaints. They had said that there has only been a very, very, very small handful of people actually complete this challenge. If I'm not mistaken, I think they said like maybe five people out of countless attempts over the years. They said they like this challenge has been around for a long time. I want to say it was like 12 years or something like that, pretty much dating back to the man versus food days, um, to which they still have it around, which is awesome. A lot of places that have had food challenges, you know, in the past have since gotten rid of them with the changing you know kind of food cultures but any place that has you know kept their challenge around for that long I applaud them um, it gives you know people like me a good reason to go visit and uh, hey I probably wouldn't have been here otherwise if it was not for this challenge um, the place was definitely busy the uh, it was like it's definitely a bar more of a bar setting than a restaurant um, so the bar was full people were watching TVs they were definitely getting into some drinks and uh, let's just say I was there having some, well, some, some burgers, some pretty solid burgers, to be honest. Um, then, of course, uh, besides the burgers, we did have the pickles, but like, kind of like we already said, like it's a pretty straightforward challenge, I would say. <laughs> I'm just telling you, you were asking me, what did I think, what was my oh, point of view? Oh, you just asked me what my point of view was. 
about four and a half minutes. Pretty good. Um, we got a real like char grilled kind of flavor on it. Josh, I'm like, no, I haven't talked to Josh since. Uh, First, I have ketchup. I talked to Josh tomorrow. Nothing happened since July. Despite the you know only few people actually beating this out of the countless attempts, I would put this at like a high level. Um, I'll say intermediate. I was gonna say high level beginner, but it's probably more like intermediate. I mean, definitely there is a good five. I'd say there's a you know five pounds of food for sure here arguably probably closer to six um that being said you know it was it was good overall so i had no complaints at that though like i said guys um i'll let you get to the rest of the video hopefully we can get this food challenge win and uh at that that's pretty much about that so like i said we'll get to the rest of the video and ultimately let us see what happens <laughs> Last but not least, fries is what I'm worried about. We got pickles, but. I think we're eight minutes in. Fish up burger. <laughs> I don't know. I think. I forget when I start now. Pickles. Comment down below if you like pickles. I like pickles. I'm a hashtag pickles. By the way, joeleach.com, grab yourself some merch.
probably all right. I'll take maybe one more ketchup here. Yeah. I'm all about that ketchup left. Thanks, my friend. I don't, I don't remember if we're 14, 13, whatever minutes in. Slowly but surely. Alright, so we finished up between 17, 17 and a half minutes. Um, good burgers, no complaints. Like I said, doing that char grill flavor, nice taste of that grill. Um, that's about it, guys. Yeah, so we got me a meal for free, it's pretty cool. Um, it was about 50, between 50 and 60 dollars, something like that. So, yeah, pretty big challenge, though, guys. It's happened very crazy, so I appreciate that. Um, so, yeah, that's about it. I really don't really have anything else to say. Solid burgers, nice staff. And get the meal for free. So, with that everyone, until next time, of course, I have the hungry, happy eating. And uh, that's about it. So, until next time, have a day. Le quedan tres tragadas y tú dirás, guau, eso me lo como ya. Después de haberte comido todo lo que te has comido, es muy complicado. Y llega el minuto 29 y traga por fin Ricardito. Una alegría, una paz. Also something I had last time when I was in the New England area, and I'm super excited to be having again because they have it here. Even up in New Hampshire, I had it last time in Connecticut and, and Massachusetts because I believe it's a Massachusetts brand. But we got my birch beer, specifically the diet birch beer, guys. So birch beer, if you're not familiar, is a soda. I'd say it's kind of a mix between a cream soda and a root beer. It is not in much of the world. Definitely not in much of the world. I believe birch beer is also kind of a thing in Pennsylvania as well. But it is, if I'm not mistaken, it can be dark as well. This is clear. Or there's some kind of other... I think it's birch beer. I think that's what I'm thinking. I think I'm thinking the right thing. But this company, which I think is literally called Polar, they also make like seltzers, which the seltzers and the sparkling waters are all across America for sure. 
probably even further than that. Um, these are from, I think it's from Mass Worcester, Massachusetts. So if you've never had a birch beer, I really like it. This is definitely something I'm gonna grab a couple bottles of to take home with me. So yeah, diet birch beer, kind of like a mix of cream soda and root beer, very good. Hey, guess what? You rock, yes, you rock. Thank you so much for watching the video. I totally appreciate it. I hope you left me a comment down below. I'd love to read them. I hope you also liked that video. Hey, by the way, click my face. You can subscribe, yes, subscribe. That way you always get my uploads. You you won't miss me when I'm in your town. And I also picked two videos for you. Yes, two videos I know you'll love right here. So watch one of those, hit my face. And at that, thank you so much, you rock.